Now, listen to what the mayor of Oakland, California, says she would do to defend her city's sanctuary policies. Roll that tape. I would be willing to go to jail to defend Oakland's sanctuary status and the policies that reflect the values of this community. All right, let's bring in California's Republican gubernatorial candidate, one of them, Travis Allen, who is with us today. Travis, you just heard what the mayor of Oakland had to say and what she proposes to do. Your response, please. Come to California. We now have criminal obstruction of justice. Look, the bottom line is this. This has gone from bad to worse in California, from bad to actual criminal. Yesterday, we had, you know, not only do we have Libby Schaff, the mayor of Oakland, talking about openly defying federal immigration uh, authorities. Now we have the Attorney General of California, Javier Becerra, came out just yesterday and threatened every single California employer that if they cooperate with federal immigration authorities, they will be subject to prosecution under California law. And, you know, the way, the way I see it, that's real clear. That is if, criminal well, obstruction okay, if, of justice. If you are elected governor of California as a Republican, what will you do about this? Well, the first thing is I've already vowed to eliminate and reverse the illegal sanctuary state in my first 100 days in office. You see, the governor of California can call special elections at any time they choose. So what we would do is gather the signatures, put it on the ballot, and let the people of California throw it out. At the same time, we would have uh, California citizens pursue this at the uh, Supreme Court. Uh, because clearly this is unconstitutional. Okay, sir. Uh, one more for you. I got numbers from the Census Department just the other day which show that California, amazingly, has the highest poverty rate in the country. Uh, again, what would you do about that if elected governor as a Republican of California? Look, very simply, 39 of 40 of the last years have been Democrat-controlled legislature. We've had 24 of the almost last 50 years with the Brown family controlling California. This has led to one in five Californians living below the poverty line, nation's highest poverty rate, nation's highest unsheltered homeless rate. The bottom line is California is too expensive to live. We've had 243,000 Californians leave in the last seven years, taking almost $8 billion. The jobs are leaving, the companies are leaving, the rest of the company is booming, but California has among the nation's highest taxes. So we have highest sales tax, highest personal income tax, uh, highest corporate tax in the Western United States, and the list goes on. You have to start by cutting taxes in California, making it more affordable so we can have more jobs. Because the bottom line okay. uh -huh. is just because California has more welfare recipients than any other state in the nation, this is not right. Californians want to work. What they need is they need a new governor that's going to cut their taxes and get them working again. All right, Travis Allen, uh, thank you very much for joining us, sir. Again, I'm very sorry it's so short, but it's a rock and roll day, as you can appreciate. Travis, thank you, sir. It is. Yeah, yes, Thanks it so is. much. Yes, sir. Thank you.